<laughs> just to wrap up, Russ, it is time once again for everyone's favorite segment. What's that? Our recommendations of the week. This week, we've only got one movie to recommend. Just one, but it's good enough for the both of us. On the heels of our recent uh, Rambo review, we decided to go with a comedy. Don't forget to let us know in the comments, what would your selection be for a comedic recommendation? I don't know. Usually what, again, we try to do is shine a spotlight on something that is maybe not as well known or not as well seen. And, <laughs> you know, the this is a comedy that is maybe well known and maybe well seen. I don't know. I don't know who out there has seen this. And if you haven't, we are now going to implore you that you must. Mm -hmm. And that is Hot Shots. <laughs> I can't even say this shit with a straight face. Hot Shots Part 2. I don't believe it. Now, I noticed, Matt, you don't own the Criterion Collection Hot Shots Part 2. This is the standard DVD. This is just the standard DVD. I am that old school. You're right, Russ. Um, glad you pointed that out. This has actually never been released on Blue in America. Oh, damn it. I've just got this awesome... Awesome I, uh, <laughs> DVD. I have seen the original Hot Shots maybe once, and that is a spoof on Top Gun. I have seen Hot Shots Part 2 like a thousand times, and that's a spoof on Rambo. I feel like this is all I probably ever needed to know about Rambo. This movie came out in 1993, which, wow, when I said that out loud, I was like, damn, that's, we were 11. This was just Jerry Abrams directed and written. There was no... I didn't um, know that. I thought, it was, I thought it was all three. They all three did Airplane, and they all three did... Naked think, Gun. Naked Gun. This is very similar to Airplane, if you haven't seen it. And the fact that every scene's a punchline, like, there's just... That's how the movie works. It's like a reference here, a reference there. Whether it's subtle, whether it's not, whether it's dumb, whether it's clever. What are you reading? Great Expectations. Is it any good? It's not all I hope for. This stars are actually rather jacked, Charlie Sheen. He got in really good shape for this movie. I think he's trying to do his best Sylvester Stallone impersonation. Then you got Lloyd Bridges, who is hilarious. Again, he's in Airplane, but he's got this like goofy shtick. Again, ratcheted up to like a hundred. He said a pretty, some pretty nasty things to me. Expressions about my wife having affairs with with people. You no, know, just to get a, a performance out of me. I don't understand them. Well, he, it's the same character from the first one. He's like that. Oh, that's right. One. He is in the first one. Yeah. See, I'm not even referencing Hot Shots, the first one. I don't have a clue what you're talking about, Phil. Not a fucking clue. I also feel like it's hard to review a movie like this because it's like it's you're not reviewing it on the strength of the movie. You're reviewing it on the strength of the jokes. I disagree. Okay. Because if it was that easy, we would be sitting here recommending disaster movie, epic movie, superhero movie. I, yeah. They are very skilled at what they did. But even like the plot in Naked Gun, it, I'm not saying it's like the smartest plot yeah. in the world, but I mean, it's clever, it's clever for what it is. You're both right. This is way more hits than misses as far as the joke content mm -hmm. is concerned. And I think it has to do with the team behind it and who's writing it. This one's in line with like an airplane. This one yes. Again, it's the same writing team, but it's in line with those that kind of humor, definitely it's more measured. smart, yes. silly humor. Right, Where exactly. that shit, those movies, the disaster epic movies, that's yeah. just shit. Don't get me started. The Crap. Zaz team always did smart, silly humor. Yeah. And, and that's very hard to do, And honestly. this is definitely it. I mean, Charlie Sheen is firing a chicken with a bow and arrow. I've asked these actors to, to go to places they've never been before, to search for, for truths that they've never uh, seen in themselves. And we can now begin to see where our moment is in film history. Sheen's really good at playing deadpan as well. Dude, well, he's deadpan this whole <laughs> movie. Yeah, like this entire movie. It. Yeah, all of his jokes are delivered with a straight face. Like every single one. And that's what, again, it makes it funny because he's kind of like an idiot. I'm not saying I don't trust you. and I'm not saying I do. But I don't. Also, Valeria Galino, always a bright spot in any movie. She's in this one, the first one, wonderful. Do you have any idea what would happen if you stay here with me? Sex. Wild, free, passionate, unbridled sex. Oh. I would fondle you in ways you can't imagine. I would pleasure you at any time, in any place, in any way, for as long as you could possibly desire. Uh, if we're going to go with the crush route, though, I always had a thing for Brenda Bach. If you should change your mind, here's my 900 number. 
It's five dollars a minute. I'll waive the charges. Valir Galino wins. <laughs> um, Lloyd Bridges again stand out. All him, all that shit with him and Sa- Saddam Hussein. Saddam hell. Hussein's voice. Oh god, dude. <laughs> it's hilarious. I owe you one. This movie came out in the 90s, 93, and it's definitely a product of that. It's very so, much so heavily leaning into Rambo, but it's also got the Terminator 2, Basic Instinct, American Gladiators. They even do Kickboxer in this. Oh, yeah. In the beginning the when he puts his yeah, hands yeah. in the glass and then it's like... It's, I, it's, it's the like, toppings oh, for Sundays. It's like, <laughs> it's like caramel. If you're a Kickboxer fan, you'll love that joke. Again, I could just like recite every last like joke that made me laugh in this, but I feel like that'd be a little boring. I feel like people should go out and see it. I'm sure we'll cut a bunch of clips in and here don't, so you can kind of see what's up. You do not need to see the original either. You know, it honestly version. felt like they wanted to do a Rambo parody, but probably nobody would budget it. So it's yeah. like, all right, let's just make a Rambo parody and a sequel for you guys right. and made do it that way. Yeah, and I wish it would come out on Blu-ray. I would buy it in a heartbeat or Same. maybe give me a 4K of this. The mother of all film parodies is what it says on the back. Do you know what Ebert said about this movie? Ebert watched this shit, Russ. <laughs> what did he say about it? Roger Ebert said, movies like this are impervious to critics. Either you laugh or you didn't. I laughed. direction on this one is flawless yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and and i can tell in your performance thank it's you really and, great. and yours your, really? your work is, is so? oscar material 